Did you wonder how can conflicts be used for mass forwarding of your messages from different resources to multiple groups in real time? This could work wonders for people working as affiliates, talk tippers, crypto signal providers, and many others. Today, I'm going to show you how can the features of conflicts be used via dashboard. To begin with, click on Try Our New Dashboard. You need to sign up over here, create an account. Once your account is created, just log into your account. This page would give you an information about the number of connections and the number of accounts you have in. Thereafter, click on the Account tab appearing on the left side of your screen. On clicking it, it will give you an option to add a Telegram account on the top right corner of your screen. Likewise, you can also add other social media accounts or chat platforms here too. On clicking the Add a Telegram account, a new page will appear prompting you to enter the name of the account. You can enter any name of your choice over here. Enter your phone number and click on Create. A new page will appear on your screen asking you to enter one-time password and 2AF password from the Telegram app in order to verify your login. The next step to proceed further is to click on connection tabs appearing on the left side of your screen. Give it a name, provide a description to it, description is optional. Moving on, you need to select the source, source connections. Please note you can add multiple sources over here. And also se select channel for destination connections. Here you can see a checkbox for text processing. Taking this checkbox will enable text processing, which means it will forward your text messages. However, disabling this checkbox will only forward the media content and will not be forwarding any text messages. In forward, you can see basic feature section over here. This would provide you features like delay in processing. Delayed processing would add a time lag between the receiving of your messages and forwarding of the same. Send type. To send messages as forward are to send them as reasons. It allows you to add headers to the messages. Headers can be of your choice like name of your organization or your services or likewise. And also add footer text allows you to add footers to the messages. Please make a note to add footers and headers using HTML language. Lastly, this checkbox gives you an option to enable or disable the web link preview in case your messages has any link to any web page. <coughs> Next section over here is processing filters. Process forwards allows you to choose process processing of forwarded messages or non-forwarded messages or to process both forwarded and non-forwarded messages. Process inline keyboard gives you an option to choose process inline keyboard messages or to non not to process inline keyboard messages or to process both. Ticking process reply checkbox will allow you to enable replication of replies. Process edit checkbox will give you a choice of enabling or disabling forwarding of edited messages.
process deleted checkbox will likewise give you an option of enabling or disabling the forwarding of deleted messages. Next section relates to media configuration. This section will give you an option to ignore all the media messages, to process only media without caption, to process media as text message without media, or to process media with caption. Further, media filter gives you specific filters to process stickers, process polls, process images, process documents, process voice, process video, process audio. Next section relates to blacklist configuration. Here you can add different text so that if the source message has any of those texts that has been added to blacklist, then all of the text will be ignored and will not be forwarded further. Reason for blacklist can be added over here as notes. Next section relates to whitelist configuration. Here you can add different text to whitelist in order to forward only those messages that have specific whitelisted contest. content. Reason for whitelist can also be added over here as notes. Next section relates to text manipulation feature. This feature allows you to replace the words in the message. All you need to do over here is to add original text which you intend to replace and here you need to add manipulated text which would act as a replacement to original text. Reason for text manipulation can also be added over here as notes.